What a decent night, huh? It's my birthday. You say it's your birthday. It's my birthday too. Okay, so, um, I got quite a big haul for my birthday, but, um, yeah, we'll do this anyway. So, I guess first we could look at, um, Zed by Gretchen McNeil, which I have already started, and it's really good so far. But why? Good question. Because... How did I do that? I don't know. Um, because uh, it's all about exorcism. The main character is um, a teenage exorcist, and um, the opening is mind blowing. I mean, um, I had to, I had to do this video. I mean, I, I'm up to chapter four, five, four maybe now. Um, because once you start, it's it's hard to stop. And I was I was gushing to my parents. I was gushing to my brother. And so I figured I'd gush to you guys too. Gush is a weird word. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's action packed. It's gripping. Um, mostly because um, for me, um, exorcisms are a little bit uh, like. Close your eyes, and whatever happens, don't look. <laughs> Also, like, there's a lot of, um, coverage for angels lately, um, and it's really interesting to see someone opt for demons. I, for me, personally, I actually feel like demons can be more interesting. Um, they can create a more, um, enthralling sort of situation. Um, and so far, I really do think that Gretchen McNeil is on the right track, um, I'm a horror nut though, so I, I don't I don't know how that translates for you guys, but uh, pick it up. You know, it's worth it. If anything, pick it up for this. This is gorgeous. I mean, I saw it on the internet and I thought, you know, it's a pretty cover, but in person, I mean, wow. <laughs> anyway, we have warm bodies. Huh? Um, it's about a zombie who essentially falls in love. So I'm really interested to see how Isaac Marion deals with that. Cardio. Me to my second rule, the double tap. Get with your pants down. Rule number three, safe and follow the rule. Surviving zombie land, travel light. And I don't mean just luggage. It had to be a clown. Oh, fuck. Are you fucking with me? Uh, no. You should actually. I'll catch up. What are you looking for? Nothing, I just, uh, I have this list. Enjoy the little things. <laughs> One day, which I know technically isn't YA. But, um, you know. On the day they met, Dexter and Emma never imagined. We will see each other again. I know we will. 
how their lives would intersect over the next 20 years. Yeah, well, Emma and I are just good friends. You sure about that? Anyway, she's not my type. Which is exactly why I like her. Experience the lives of two people for one day each year on each anniversary of the day they met. Enclave <laughs> uh, by an Aguile, I think, maybe. <laughs> um, this is, uh, this reminded me a little bit of um, that Doctor Who episode, the Doctor's daughter, not so much the daughter part, but the um, underground humanity and battling the creatures that lurk in the tunnels. Join us in the war against the half. Um, it looked really interesting, you know, I, I'm not big on some of the dystopia that has been circulating, so, uh, hopefully this is more my style, I guess. This, which I've definitely been looking forward to, um, haven't seen it in the bookstores around here, so, came from book to pause, um, you know, it's about a girl who I think is essentially an angel. I'm pretty sure that's the storyline. But, um, yeah, it should be interesting. And finally, we have, uh, Name of the Star. I actually got this in the mail a couple weeks ago, um, as a review copy from HarperCollins. Um, I've already read it. It's just taking me a little while to get up the post on it. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it, it's actually quite good, and you'll hear all about it. <laughs> so you just pick it up, it's, it's really worth it, it's not life-changing, it's very much a nice Sunday afternoon read. Yeah. <laughs>